what is going to happen to all this space that is currently dedicated to these giant mausoleums? You know, these huge lots with these mega buildings. What's going to happen to that 10, 15 years from now? That's a really good question. You know, drive in movie theaters, right? Uh, they could. It could be a good spot for you know. Oh my God! It could be a a multiplex of drive-in movie theaters. Yes, I like it. Yeah. Pops, car dealerships as we know them are changing forever right before our eyes. More change in the past couple of years, and I think in the next few years, than we'd seen, what, in the prior 25, 50, 100 years of car dealers? Um, probably in 100 years. All right, so we've got a story from Ford that we've yes. done videos about in the past, Ford yes. Model E. We're going to kick things off, though, with Honda and Acura. The lead from Automotive News saying dealer showrooms may shrink. What do we got to know about this? Um, well, the, the, either they're going to start selling tiny cars like minis and they'll have small. No, what we need to know is that this is Honda's way of, of letting their Honda and Acura dealer network know that they're no longer going to have 45 or 60 or 75 day supply of vehicles on the ground moving forward yep. in the future. And because there's probably going to be somewhere between a 20 and a 30 day supply of vehicles on the lots. They're figuring that, well, they don't need such large facilities anymore. So that in the future, when they do future facility redesigns, and the manufacturers love to do those about every five to eight years, um, the dealerships themselves, the showrooms themselves will get smaller. They'll take up a smaller footprint. Um, dealerships moving forward, if somebody's looking to build a brand new facility, it's going to require less ground. Uh, you're not going to have to have acres and acres and acres of land in order to store a thousand vehicles on them when, you know, they might have a big dealership might have 300, which could be a month's supply. And honestly, I don't even know if you'll ever see big dealerships that even have 300. We're seeing more and more, especially as we see the EV push as well, the idea of kind of order online, go to the dealership, pick it up. Work your pipeline. That, that's what, what the big publics are doing. They figured out how to sell deep into their pipeline of incoming cars. Um, so they know what's scheduled to be built. They, they know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they know what the allocations are. Um, they know what adjustments they can make in still changing some of these cars. And so they're pre-selling all this stuff before it ever gets to the dealership so that when it gets to the dealership, you know, if it spends a week there waiting for its owner to come in and pick it up, it's spending a lot of time. That doesn't require as much space, as much ground. And and I know the article here about Honda and Acura really focuses on space and, mm -hmm. and the, the footprint of the dealership becoming smaller. I think that's just the, the leading edge. When, when Ford mentioned and brought out and announced back in March, Ford yes. Model E, mm -hmm. okay, they made it very clear. You're not going to carry any inventory. No. The prices are non-negotiable, yes. and you are going to be doing deliveries to consumers. Yes, you're going to, the, the consumers are going to order. And you're just going to be a delivery outlet. And I think Honda and Acura, they're starting to wave that flag a little bit. They're not saying it as explicitly as Ford did with well, Model Well, they e. haven't separated their... Exactly, their yeah. business units. Yes. Like Ford did. Ford also has Ford Blue. But, yes. Dad, this is the changing of the guard, I think, right in front of us. The idea of Automobile Row just going on forever and having thousands of cars there. I think we're only a handful of years away from that being bygone. Actually, we're gone. it's gone right now. There, you can't find a 1,000 cars on Automobile Row right now. Automobile Row might always exist, just in a slightly smaller version. Want to know who the good dealer is in your neighborhood? Go to joinyaa.com and check out our crowdsourced dealer reviews. All of our community members coming together to help one another. The, the facility that I worked at for Penske in North Scottsdale, which was we had... 10 or 11 franchises, and I forget how many acres we had. And, um, and, and we were parking cars everywhere for the various dealerships. Now, I, I guarantee you there's a lot of open blacktop uh, up there. Um, but automobile rows will still exist in the sense that it makes it easier for people to go in, see uh, what few models might yeah. be available, but to get some sense of of the, what the cars are, the cars and trucks that are available, and, and be able to gather some information. 
My sense, something that I projected in the 90s, was that dealerships will be um, nothing but TV screens. Okay, you, you know, you'd have a segment, a section in, in, in your dealership, say, for an Acura MDX, and then it'll be surrounded by all different types of, of, uh, of TV screens that will explain the various features of the vehicle. It won't take a salesperson to do that. Okay, there'll be a delivery specialist that will help you once you've purchased a vehicle. But, yeah, I, I think dealerships as we know them and as the way cars are presented will change in the future. Are you surprised? Change in the future. It's changing yeah. right in front of us. Okay. Are you surprised no other automaker outside of Ford, and now we're hearing rumblings from Honda Acura, has made an announcement similar to Ford with their Model E and being very clear, no inventory, no, uh, you cannot change the price. It's no longer manufacturer's suggested retail price. It is, this is the price. Yeah, except for the uh, Lightning pickup truck. Well, but, but, the, but that's, that's because not... that's not being sold through Model E. Yet. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, I, I think. Are you reading... surprised that no other automaker has done that? Yet? A- am I surprised somewhat to a small degree? Maybe the maybe the manufacturers need to be reading the comments on our YouTube channel where people say, geez, we hate going into dealerships and we hate having to deal with dealerships. We just like to be able to order the cars and pick them up um, or have them delivered to our house. So so maybe as as time marches on, we'll see more manufacturers realize that that's the way they need to go yeah. because that's the way the consumer would prefer it. One other question for you. What is going to happen to all this space that is currently dedicated to these giant mausoleums you know, these huge lots with these mega buildings. What's going to happen to that 10, 15 years from now? That's a really good question. You know, Drive in movie theaters, right? Uh, they could, it could be a good spot for, you know, oh, my God. It could be a, a multiplex of drive in movie theaters. Yes, I like it. Yeah. Fatty Arbuckle's Good Time Emporium and drive in movie theaters. If there you, you say, have it. If you say so, Pops. I don't know what I say. <laughs> 